looking at some of the library functions used with structures and structure arrays, um, I'm going to come in again and build the same team, um, the team structure array that we had before. And then I'm going to look at the first library function, which is called field name. So this is a way for, some, for you to get the field names um, in a structure. And, and it, returns the, it returns them as cell arrays. So what I'm doing here on line, and I'm just going to run this here. What I'm doing here on line 119 is I'm getting the field names from an individual structure. So I'm looking at uh, the structure in the third location in the structure array team. And then what I'm doing on line 120 is I'm actually getting the field name from the overall structure array. Because every structure in the structure array has the same set of field names, then either one of these will work. And as you can see, um, A and B, which is the variables that I assign these values to, uh, both come out um, identical. So first, last, number, and position. And you can see by the quotes around here, MATLAB, this function uh, field names is returning um, a cell array. And so this is a four by one. It actually turns, returns a vertical cell array, four by one cells, and both of them are very type cells. So this is a cell array giving you the uh, cells which contain the names of the fields in this particular structure and structure array. Um, so that is the library function field names. Um, if you wanted to access information, we've already seen this, uh, but there are two ways to do it. So here on line, I'm going to run this. Here on line 123, SAC equals team, um, the fifth team member dot first. So that's one way to get the first name of the fifth team member. Another way is illustrated here on line 124. I can use the get field command um, and I use, I tell it which structure I want to get the field from and then the name of the field. Um, and then it goes out and gets that information as well and stores in variable D. So if you look down here, uh, C is equal to GIN, which is the first name. As you can see up here on line 116 is the first name of the 15 member. Um, and then D is also equal. So both of these are methods or ways to, um, both of these are ways to uh, access the uh, data that's inside the structure. And you look over here in the workspace and Jim is of type character. Okay. Um, so that's accessing it. Well, what if we wanted to assign information to it? Well, there, there are two different ways to do that. Um, let's go in here. I'm going to step through these. So I'm going to go through, and as you can see, the fourth team member is a structure, first name Robert, last name Freeman, number 34, position F. Let's say if I want to change this position, not just forward, shooting forward. So I'll put SF there. Uh, and then I step through. So on line 120, I say team member four dot position equals the new value that I want to put in there. So that's one way to uh, set the information in the field. So when I do that on line 128, if I look again on one line 129, this structure has been changed and the position information is as we expected with SF in there. Another way to do it is using the set field um, function. And so on 130, I show um, this is team number five, name, first name Jen, last name Rummy, uh, number is 40, position is F. So if I want to change that position to PF, uh, here on line 131, I say team number five equals set field of team number, oh, that should be team, uh, of team five, uh, set that position to PF. Okay? And so I'm going to have to clear this and rerun it so that that change takes effect. Uh, here we go. And so I'll step through this again and then get down here. So once again, I, I have the structure that's in the fifth position in my team structure array. I set the field on line 138 and then on one line 132, excuse me, I set the field on line 131 and line 132, um, I can see that, that information has been changed. So both of these are ways to set the information in a particular field uh, by accessing by name, which once again is a lot easier than having to worry about a whole bunch of braces and parentheses and double indexing and that kind of thing. Um, so the next thing is how do you remove information? 
So one of these, these two methods are not identical. One of them actually, it removes the data from a, from a field, but it leaves the field there. And the other one actually removes the field. And so I'm going to step through here. So I'm going to go look at team one. Team number one, that's that structure. I say team number one dot position equals the empty vector. Okay, so now when I look at it again on one line, line 137, you can see that there the empty vector is now in the position field. So there's nothing there, but the field is still there. There's just no information there. It's an empty vector. Um, so that's one way. That that's the way you actually move the data from within the field. Now what I'm getting ready to show you here on line 138. It's going to actually remove the field. It uses the, the, the library function rm field, and it will actually remove the field, but not just from, you have to be careful, it's not going to remove it just from one of the uh, structures. It's going to remove it for the entire team. Um, and so, in fact, let me go back here and show that. And let's say, so this is the entire team, and I step through here. And on line 138, I remove from cell array, so excuse me, from structure array team, I removed um, the field position. And so now, if I go back and look at my first structure, it no longer has, team one no longer has position in it. Not only that, team two doesn't have it, team three doesn't have it, and team member four doesn't have it. None of the team members have it anymore because I've removed that field from the entire structure rates. So you have to be very careful with this because you will um, remove that data. And so, uh, but those are some of the library functions uh, that are used with structures and structure arrays, uh, field names, get field, set field, and an RM remove field. And so um, those can be very useful in, in solving problems which you have your, your information stored in structures and structure arrays.